Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of day two of the E3 press conferences. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And our SRB TV um, coverage train continues, this time with the final conference of the day, the Bethesda press conference. Yes. Now, this is, this is like the only third party developer that actually has like an actual press conference. Yeah. So, this will be their third year doing it. The first two years were pretty good. They were pretty decent and good, yeah. Not bad for third party developers. Yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, let's start let's off. Start expectations. Yeah, what do you uh, expect? The, Wolf, the Wolfenstein sequel. That's what you're expecting to Every, see. If you remember, Bethesda, every, every conference you had, they opened up with a big with a game announcement. Yeah. Game yeah, announcement. yeah. So, year one was um, Doom, year two was Quake Champions, mm -hmm. and now, like, this one, I believe, it's called Wolfenstein 2 The New Coliseum. Okay. Yeah. There's going to be that. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, because I know more, they had just had a Morrowind expansion pack come out with that. Yeah. Uh, Quake Champions. That was the one they showed last year. Probably show more of that this year. Yeah. Possibly a new IP. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Dishonored 2 DLC. Dishonored 2 only came out back in February. Yeah. They may have more DLC you want to show. They want to show. Uh, and of course, the rumored Evil Within 2. I put it still put it on my expectations list. Yeah. Because there's been uh, leaked listings apparently for it. Yeah. And the creator, the head of the developer for the game, mm -hmm. has been pretty mum recently. So. Yeah. Um. Uh, for mine, pretty much, of course, is uh, I only put one because I'm like, I'm expected to see it, and that is anything new for Quake Champions, pretty much. After the, what they released, yes, you know, last year, we're definitely gonna probably see something for you know for the game, yeah. you know, again at this conference here for Quake Champions. Um, and then whole, uh, one thing, because the other stuff I put down for hope to see, pretty much, because I'm like that's what I was hoping to see. Okay. Much for those and well, then I'll start with hopes then. Uh, Fallout Five, Doom Two. Elder Scrolls 6, H3 remasters of the original Wolfenstein games, yeah. and since they're a third party developer, I was put for hopes, more games coming to the Switch. Um, for, for it, I'm also looking at to see if they're bringing any VR games, because there were rumors that they were, they were doing, they were going to integrate mm -hmm. Fallout with uh, the VR. Yeah. So they, they, they stated that, so that's a possibility, maybe we see some gameplay, or them confirming it for maybe like the PS4, or even the PC. Um, another one is... Um, a new IP that's been rumored that they've been working on called Starfield. I, I put new IP in expectations because they yeah. usually like last year they had like Prey as their big new idea. Yeah. Available. Well, supposedly there's been rumored rumored that it's gonna be Starfield, saying it's gonna be more a far future sci-fi RPG. The, the the catch is it's supposedly supposed to tie together both the Fallout and Elder Scroll timelines. So it's like they're making their own cinematic or not, a game universe pretty much in a way. Yeah. That's what they're trying to do. It's being got they being worked on by Todd Howard, who worked on yeah, uh, Elder on. Scrolls and Skyrim. And Fallout. Yeah, all that. So yeah. he's working on this. So that's the rumored one. That's the one I'm hoping to see because that would be pretty interesting. And Maybe a pretty cool game series that will integrate all that together. And the only one I have dreading is just more talking actual gameplay shown. Yeah. There, there was there was a it was a nice it was kind of a nice balance last yeah. year. Hoping. Just hoping they don't do for a lot me, more talking. For me, yeah, it's, for me it's about the same thing, but more talking on about their mobile stuff or their free-to-play mm -hmm. games. Hopefully they keep it short and simple for their, their uh, a lot of those, you know, but just keep it short and simple, get to the point, and then it's like, okay, move on to the next thing. Like this pre-show round? Because that's all I got. Yeah, because yeah. our, our lists are short. Um, you know, we don't play too much uh, for a lot of uh, Bethesda games. Um, the only game, uh, I'm not, I mean, I do have Fallout, the most, the last one. I barely played it, but I still want to play more of it. Um, but the like I said, uh, anything else though, it's like, like I said, we barely play, but it'd be exciting to see. Prey, uh, I know Prey is probably gonna be on my list because I I played the demo and the demo was just like, wow, is this the inter It's the uh, one hour opening, pretty much of the game. That's what it is. So mm -hmm. it's free already on on uh, PS4. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I tried out and it's interesting, so it may be on my list soon. Yeah, but overall, that's that's all our list. That's all our pre-show. Um, we're hoping to see some good stuff. But yeah. This does. But that has, has been good. It's yeah. been, it's has been, been good. like that. Has been great. It's been good. It's been, been good, good where they they delivered you know Hopefully. basics. They delivered basic good stuff where it's like what people were looking for, what they're asking for. You know, but nothing like too like oh my god, I gotta you know I gotta go yeah. you know like holy shit moments. But yeah, well hopefully third third time's the charm. Oh yeah, us. hopefully they kick in and, some cool stuff. Yeah, and they will definitely not beat Microsoft. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right uh, 
probably like you said they'll probably be at the same SmackDown in the middle of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, they'll probably they'll probably be, be where EA's at pretty much. Where EA I don't I think they'll be better than EA. For Bethesda? Yeah, Bethesda the last two years has proven they can do a better press conference than EA. Can. Oh, okay. And then, EA is supposed to be like a first party publisher. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. Got, you got a good point there. Yeah, after yeah, yeah, you do have a good point because usually EA, you know, ha, you know, has its off and on moments, but Bethesda, like you said, it, God willing, knock on wood, it's been on par pretty much. Yeah. So you've been doing good stuff. So yeah, so uh, we'll see you guys. I guess that's it. So yeah, we'll we're see. gonna start. We're gonna get ready uh, before it starts. Uh, but we'll get. We'll see you guys after the post show. Enjoy our clips, pretty much of what we see and what we, you know, all the little exciting moments. So we'll see you guys after the post show. See you then. Get see it. it. One can see an F bomb. So that would make they this. They won't. So I really don't care right now. now. It's cute, but... Someone's telling everyone our game is really exciting. Awesome. Scary. <laughs> Overwhelming. Mind-blowing. I'm really proud of my I like it because it's something you don't really time. see at all. <laughs> and now they're ready. They've made their game. And this is it. It's go time. Time to show everyone what we've been working on. Mm -hmm. All your friends. Except me. I can't fight till I'm older. Awesome. Let's get it started. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. So, let's just say it. Start the show. Start the show! Showtime! Showtime! I don't know what showtime is. Okay. That's a high person. We're both there. Welcome! Welcome to the Bethesda E3 Showcase! Great! I... Look, I'm... That is a cool building to sign too, to be honest. I don't even know who's in here. That's not like you, man. I have it. You mean the story? Yeah, the game. game. I actually have to. I, don't well, I know that yet. The story. I just haven't it. played it here yet. No. That's a fun November. You know what game I have that I haven't played yet? For Xbox? And anything? Sunset Overdrive. When you got me? Yeah. I still haven't done I'm not yet. expecting you to play it. Let me get it. Let's see what we got. <laughs> yeah, so Bethesda Land. Welcome, everyone, to Bethesda Land 2017. Yes, Bethesda Land. A place of adventure, innovation, wonderment, but above all else. I wait fun. till midnight for this. To get things started, please welcome Bethesda's Global Vice President of PR and Marketing, Pete Hines. Oh, thank God, a human being. <sighs> the chain, Pete. Okay, I'll get from that. That's thank cool. you very much. I can't even imagine the size of the bar tab that I paid for that applause, but I thank you for that. Good evening and welcome to the 2017 Bethesda E3 Showcase. And welcome to Bethesda Land. We will offer you an experience at E3 unlike anything else and a chance to celebrate some sure. of the world's best I don't video know, games. I don't care. Tonight we'll be taking you on a virtual tour through our playground where there's something for everyone, whether it's phone or tablet, PC, or your favorite Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo console, or like many of us, all of the above. But before we turn to the latest from Bethesda, let's take a minute to look at the, some of the most recent games that you've been playing and many of you are still enjoying, like the endless hours of fun that millions of fans have had playing Doom. Ripping, tearing, and otherwise eviscerating demons from hell. Did you play a badass supernatural assassin in Dishonored 2 or fight to survive aboard an alien-fested space station in Prey? Maybe you're one of the 100 million people yeah, around the world one. who have enjoyed building and overseeing your own vault in Fallout Shelter. I wish it could be my phone such a memory. And I know that many of you are still playing Fallout 4 and Skyrim Special Edition. You got that for free because you guys screwed up on uh, Marketplace. Probably because for the first time in our industry, both games offer user mods for console players 
with more than 300 no, million no, oh, pod downloads. I, I bought that. Oh, I mean the DLC here. for it. As oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This extraordinary game Sorry. Show, I was probably actually be able to buy it. My bad. Giving players the very best but the mistake they did when they, yeah, the when they accidentally the released it, and people, uh, a lot of people were able so, to download it for free. What's next? Let's start by talking about virtual reality, something that we've Yep, that's what I was expecting, VR. For a while now. We've had teams hard at work on VR titles to provide the kind of experiences you've been asking for and the kind of experience you won't find anywhere else. So let's start our tour of Bethesda Land with two VR games coming out this year. That's what you're ready? Gonna be doing. Let's take a look. Honestly, I'm sure you know, like, I'm not like, I'm on a fence of VR. I know. What do we got? Yes, that's an Oculus Rift. Doom VR. Yeah, it looks Doom like. Doom VR. Yeah, it looks like Doom VR. Hmm. That is. Okay. What kind of experience is this? on which Bethesda was built. The Elder Scrolls Online, first released in 2014, and has built a massive community. Since launch, more than 10 million players have had countless adventures in Tamriel. Now you can return to a thrilling fan-favorite location, Morrowind. Don't call that. More of moral and expansion. What's up, guys? It's Jane. It's Jane Lee. It's gonna be exciting. I'm pretty excited right now. Here we go. Oh my god, look at the mushrooms. Is the voices off or is that just off? Is that us or him? Who's shooting arrows in that bear? Better not have the bear. Oh, I think it's the bear. They did it. Okay, I mean, that was funny. I think that's why they added subtitles. So that people Everybody know what they're This is what we've been wanting. All the scrolls online made me feel like I 
Windows 14 again. Yeah, it's not us. Chat, Chat's going single in audio DC. Yeah, that's how come they're adding the subtitles to it. That's how come they added the subtitles to let people know this is what they're saying. They rushed this. A, 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 a press conference that was already three out, like two hours off originally. Yeah, they're wrong. I mean, they've improved Old School's online overall compared to massively, the yeah. Initial launch, but I'm just an MMO guy. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's that was pretty much the area in um, Old School's three. Yeah. They show more of some new cities, new places. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we should. If we were Twitch advertisements, that is that expansion. <laughs> Back to the. Speaking of Morrowind, did you know that Bethesda's first PC user mods in 2002 were for the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind? Fifteen years later. Bethesda continues to support the mod community. Hey, look, Last year, take it. Bethesda user mods were made available to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 players. And since then, there have been more than 300 million mod downloads for Fallout what? 4 and Skyrim Special Edition. And we're just getting started. In 2017, Bethesda is going to shake things up again. In 2016? 2017. Uh -huh. Bethesda Game Studios is known for creating open living worlds with seemingly limitless gameplay content. But what if there was another way to experience even more? Something all new. Introducing Creation Club, a collection of new game content for Skyrim and Fallout 4, including new weapons, new armor, new outfits and accessories, new crafting and housing features, even new gameplay enhancements. Using Creation Club is easy. Browse the selection in-game by category and use credits to download right there. Your new content will appear automatically. Creation Club content is made by Bethesda Game Studios and outside developers, including the very best community creators. These outside creators work hand in hand with Bethesda Game Studios, which means all content will be fully compatible with funny. your save games, achievements, and official add-ons. So, oh, wait, is coming this it's, summer it's a combination of third party, Xbox One, and PC. Outside developers, Club, the and Fallout 4 and Skyrim just got a little bit bigger. Yes, two game, one game that's really old, and one game that's only a few years old. The Elder Scrolls Legends is another I way hate to be more the same. amazing I'm universe, just... taking you beyond the role-playing experience and offering a unique strategy card game. The card game. But we haven't shown all our cards oh, yet. That's on my list. Let's see what's next for Legends. I decided not to because I actually completely forgot that they did a fucking card game. Yeah, I me, mean, I remember last year. Stories can do surprising things, whether they are true or not. Yeah, the card game. It's nice for people who really enjoy the. Yeah, I know. No, wait, let me. No, I need to take that back. There was never a card game in the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. They decided to do it because of, like, Gwent, the, that Witcher card game, and the popularity of Hearthstone. I'm just hoping the first half is just, it's like, we're getting a lot of the boring stuff or, like, annoying stuff out of the way first, and then the second half, hopefully, they kick it in, at least. I'm hoping. A real Jew played her card. Even those lost amongst the mountains 
Dishonored 2 expansion. Yeah, it's an expansion for Dishonored 2. For those who probably got it, it has a season pass. Yeah, it looks like this. Wait, wait. 
it offered them a new way to compete, and the best of the best were finally recognized as professional gamers. This year, Quake Champions takes esports to the next level. We weren't born champions. Esports were made. Made better. Wait, that's what you're talking about Quake. Oh wait, made which is faster. an esports game. Yeah, that's what they're talking about for the, the, the esports. Made deadlier. With every single match. We don't just play. We compete. We achieve. We rise. We won't stop until we're the best. Until we are quick champions. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. Juice it up, baby. Juice it up, baby. What's the matter? Lose something? You know, we're going fast. Hey, Jennifer Hale, how's it going? Try to keep up. Who's next? E.J. Blaskowitz. Oh shit! I'm coming for you, goddamn weirdos. None of you get that alive. It all comes down to this. I don't know how to spell that. I'm just good. Every match, every frag, every victory. More than 20 years in the making, the original eSport returns. Yeah, I'm going to be Quake World Championship. August 26th at QuakeCon in Dallas, Texas. Competitors will face off in the ultimate eSports arena to win their share of $1 million. And the one thing every champion seeks. Legacy. After their game once, win the World Tournament. That's it. Retire. Retire. Play the beta now and get ready for I'm like, what are you going to do next? I'm just going to move on to like, I heard Overwatch needs more players. <laughs> I'm over there mastering and stuff like that. that and then I'm winning it again. And you know, and then, there we go. Now the work is nearly finished. Let's take a peek. Under construction. Uh, do I pee? Possibly. What was my wish list? Whoa. What? Oh, yeah. Sebastian. Okay. Sebastian. For three oh, years since Evil Within 2! Yeah, this is the one that they're still working on. You didn't find what you were looking for because they didn't want you to. Mobius knows you've been following us. And they've been watching you for a long time. You trained and trusted me. I want to confirm. I'm waiting. I'm not ready to get out. Long before we met, you lost your daughter, Lily. She's still alive. This is your chance to save her. Is there what happened in the first game? To get back. Your mind needs fucked up. Lily needs you. You're going to need to go back into STEM. Again. He needs to go back. Oh, fuck that, man. Be like, I'm good. I'm fucking good. That's what it looks like. Oh, wow. There's, apparently, she's saying his daughter never died. Didn't die. Yeah, that's what they're saying, that she's not dead. Whoa. Okay, I gotta admit. I haven't played the first game, but this makes me want to play the first game. That's cheap for PS4. Listen to music. This song's so familiar. Oh yeah, appreciate the art. Are you gonna get 
you, uh, safe head. I don't know what he's actually called. Dude, I'm fucking heavy the music. I know the music is fucking making This is the first like this is the second, G, like sorry yeah. second one. Quick champions movie. Yeah. Dude. This is so it is the evil within. Huber's react. Huber's wanting an evil within sequel. This is evil within too. Just for you. Wow. Well, Teenage Mutant Rock. Just the Fallout 4 DLC. That's what I'm thinking. It's a it feels like. Is that okay? Uh, is that or is it a new IP? The four games that I see. Because I know it's Wolfenstein. It could be Wolfenstein. Could be. I'm going to get you out. Get it off. Hang on. We're going to get you out. I can't. Starfield, the one I was talking about. Okay, hold on a sec. You're right. Most likely. Oh, wait. Or you. Because look at you hear what she was saying? She said something in another language. She's talking in, like, a German. Wolfenstein. Bad girl. I think it's a, it's a teaser for Weasel. I don't know who we just watched. It's, it's, yeah, it's Wolfenstein. German or else. It's the next Wolfenstein. I believe it's called Wolfenstein 2 in the New Coliseum. And is that, is that a cat watching TV? Or a ha hybrid cat? Yeah. Thank Wait. you for all the joy and pain. Last, which was back. Yes. That's the only trick you didn't die in the last one. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gotta be since he's in the middle of the hospital. Yeah, yeah, Wolfenstein. Just wait for a full name. The old and the weak are doomed. <laughs> to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you on a station one? Take your Commandant. Oh, feeling dank. <laughs> Did he give him a slurpee? It's supposed to be a milkshake. Mm. No. Sorry. Sorry. Now you... Show me your identification papers. Please. It's like they're showing different parts of the game. Absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. Wait, what you say? Say you're a Nazi? Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! <laughs> Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn Nazi. <laughs> now you bring Super Smash back in and you put him down right now, or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass. Like, uh, I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? Shit! Oh, God, suck. Take cover! Relax, man. It's just a death. It's just a death. The bitch has a six <laughs> sense of humor. For the great line about this resistance. Leader. Named. You know, my mom always said, Wait, never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you yeah, sit, right there, there. And sit there, Billy, and drink up. Oh, God damn. Now, listen, Terry, Billy, I respect your ambition. <laughs> Look at him shot at. No more, Come on. Right? Yeah, he's playing the, he's playing the flute. Crapper, all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the board take a suck it all down. This is a weird trailer. It's a weird way to take a trailer, but it doesn't bother me, though. Against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. The good part is going on. Children of the proletariat have to die in foreign lands so that they can be filling their coffers. They weren't their sons. Only for this guy to get shot. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm going to raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And there's the dog. There you can ride. And light Nazis on fire. I got nothing. So. 
Well, I'll give them this. They know how to do a fucking trailer. Oh, yeah. It's like, we're going to give them enough so then we don't have to give them anything else so the long time. The clever thing is, the release date for Evil Within is Yeah, I know. Friday the 13th in October. That's what they're doing with this. They're giving us only enough because it's going to be probably a while until we see anything else from Open Sky. It's probably going to be like a 2018 with the front. Is that Fat Lego back? Yeah. Probably a 2018 release, but they're giving us enough to just shut up for now. To New Colossus. No, this year. Chris, not over. The what Colossus again? The, Colossus. the New Colossus. What the fuck? Is it October 27? Yeah. Well, I don't know what that part was. That was random there. Well, don't tell me that was it. We I, waited until midnight for that shit. I said a couple of months ago, I think that would kick off. Games was working what? On is 15 minutes in. So now you know what it's funky like bananas. Bananas. It's fucking bananas. Lady pregnant with bananas. twins stabbing a Nazi while a guy is dropping acid. It's fucking bananas. It's fucking bananas. Add that part. We We're adding that part. Show, uh, to show you guys more of Wolfenstein 2 and how it combines the compelling shooter with great story, unforgettable characters, and killer graphics with over-the-top action. So if you visit our booth this week at E3, you have a chance to go hands-on and begin the fight to rally the resistance in America against the Nazi regime. In addition to Wolfenstein 2, we'll have hands-on for our VR titles, so you can play both Fallout 4 and Doom VFR. You can play Quake Champions and start practicing for that big million dollar prize pool at QuakeCon. Or you can try the Battlegrounds mode in the new Elder Scrolls Online more. I, you delayed it by two hours to give us a half an hour for the new Heroes of Skyrim for Legends, plus a cool interactive experience for the Evil Within 2, exclusive <laughs> developer <laughs> that's presentations, cool. and yeah, a lot that's more. Nice. So we hope you're as excited for what we have coming in 2017 that's as it. we are. Again, a reminder of everything that you saw tonight will be out this year. That's true. Be it mobile or PC, console or virtual reality, shooter, horror, RPG, action or strategy card game. We believe the best thing we to the show is going to be the best this in video games. We hope you've enjoyed this four game. Four games it's coming your passion and excitement that drives our teams to make something great, something exciting, that. something fun. If you're here at E3, we hope you'll come by the booth and say hi. If you're not here in LA, please keep checking the Fesnet, where we'll have lots more to say. You know what I said? Saturday I didn't want anybody to talk a lot. Days, weeks, I wanted somebody months. to talk a lot. I know, it's you like, I, that's what I felt like. Have like, a have a developer for Evil Within 2, give us some more hints. That's it? Is that it? That's it! So that was Bethesda. We waited till midnight for that one. And. I think we're going to get more out of a 30-minute Nintendo Direct coming Tuesday than we did out of that. I, I you know, I get that, that they're a third-party developer promoting their stuff, mm -hmm. but I felt like there could have been so much more talking about some of this stuff. There could have been so much more, but we got Bethesda Land, which... To me, I thought, okay, that's going to be pretty interesting, but I didn't know that the whole, it was going to be over, taking over the whole damn, literally the whole damn, well, I, I shouldn't say the whole damn thing, since... Pretty much, oh god. I'm just going to go through this list pretty quick because there's not a lot. Doom VFR looks great, but still like, like a two, what was it, a two-year-old game. Mm -hmm. Fall 4 VR, mm, like short bursts. Yeah. But once again, it's, it's like a two- to three-year-old game. That's actually a two-year-old game. No, it's yeah. a three-year-old game. Um, Morrowind Expansion, okay, cool. I mean, if you're a fan of the MMO... Looks like they're adding a lot to it, plus more stuff on top of Morrowind expansion. Creation Club looked interesting. They said, what was it? They said it was like develop. It was like outside third party, outside the, outside community, the community, developers, um, and like like third other third party pretty outside much. developers. Uh, outside developers um, are all part of a part of uh, creating mods for different games, pretty much. And it's called 
the creation club that they're uh, doing. The card game that I, you know, that which let's be honest, it was just a compute of Hearthstone that's only now just fully coming out. So. Yeah, and then confirming also uh, Skyrim pretty much is coming to the Switch with a Breath of the Wild outfit. If you have a Link Archer, yeah, yeah, that's what that's what it seems like. Pretty much, it's just Skyrim. Yeah, and then they dive into Dishonored, the Dishonored. Okay, I admit the it didn't really get get like a it, little it bit didn't, more interesting. It didn't all. start. It didn't start. Yeah, it didn't start kicking in for our or piqued our interest until uh, Dishonored two. Um, because they had the, the new expansion. It looks that's Death what it, of the says. Outsider. it was just a CG chair, but it looks like it's a side story, pretty much about like a like a thief job in the town in the city within the same city. Um, and then they showed um, Quake Champions, where they talked a little bit more about the esports, to what to expect. They showed up. The, plus, they showed a lot plus, more footage. Yeah, they showed a lot more footage, but also and it looks like they're adding a new character for uh, a BJ Blask, which but it's from, from with it, Wolf. Yeah, exactly from from Wolfenstein. Then they had um, the, which the first trailer. Okay, let's be honest. There was only one like game of the conference, and that was the Evil Within. I have to agree. There's not really, on this one, like, we're not doing like, a I, top you five can, games. You, can, you, can, this you, one. Can, you can argue Wolfenstein 2, but that trailer for Evil Within 2 had me so the intrigued. Music, Just the music, the music, the first game. The music had you attracted to it, and then this, the, the yeah. just the story itself, you're like, what, what the hell is Wolf, going on here? Wolfenstein 2 was interesting, but, it just but, seems, and, uh, it, but, I didn't really like get into it because I knew the basic premise already. You're just yeah. a guy going around killing Nazis, and Wolfenstein Two looks like the same thing. So if you enjoyed the first one, that's great. But it, you enjoy, but it, you know the second one, I don't know. It just felt the trailer didn't like convince me. The trailer was just like spots, different cutscenes from the game. From the game, and it, to me, it just felt like we're giving you all this I mean, shit. The together. opening part was hilarious with the robotic dog fucking up the truck. Oh yeah, that was that was pretty funny, but um. Like I said, though, um... Oh, and it turns out the cat was watching the TV, too. Yeah, that, that, like a hybrid cat. But, um, back to, like I was saying, you know, it felt like it was just like, here, we're only going to give you this one huge, large trailer snippets, and then that's it. You know, because it's like, the game's coming out this year anyways. Here. You know, here's everything. The biggest problem I'm having is if this was better or worse than the EA one. That's the problem I'm running into there. That's the part Because, is, you know what? EA had... The two biggest games they had was A Way Out... Mm -hmm. And Star Wars Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2, yeah. However, the rest was bogged down by games we already knew, expansions we already knew were coming out. Yeah, exactly. This it's had, difficult. had them still promoting Skyrim, still promoting Fallout 4, mm -hmm. and still promoting Doom. As well as Elder Scrolls as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you have Doom, play Doom, the new Doom, play yeah. it. But, I mean, by this point, I think everybody and their mother's already beaten. Yeah, but... And like you said, it's it's kind of difficult to see who would would have won because this one, we're we're a little upset. We, we're a little that's upset. We can make this post show about. We're so we're a little upset only because, um, we, we thought for everybody who's following the schedule, actual schedule that was still out and released, it was supposed to be because we're at Easter time, and for, for us it would have started at what time? Ten o'clock, mm -hmm. pretty much. But it looks like they bumped it back. A few weeks ago, they bumped it back, which we didn't keep up with it at all. We didn't hear any announcement about them pushing it back, and for and pretty much they pushed it back to 9 p.m. Pacific, so that's midnight our time. So it really it really drove us crazy. You know what? I'm gonna give it to EA. You're gonna give it, it to EA. I think EA. I I'm rising right now. EA did better. You know. Yeah. There were yeah there was games that were new that were announced, but you know what? They had more. They had Need for Speed Payback. They had the Madden story mode. They yes. talked a lot about the FIFA story mode. There was of course there was a way out. Um, the the, the game. <laughs> yeah. Not this fucking conference. This um, one, this one, thirty minutes of Star Wars Battlefront two. You yeah. know, people complain about that, but it was still thirty minutes, and them talking about the game too. Yeah, exactly. Even yeah. afterwards, I mean, it's like it dri it drifted right into more of like into okay, we're gonna start the interviews stuff so like that. So as of right now, EA is above Bethesda. Bethesda, but just barely. This barely, and like you say, it's yeah, difficult, it's especially when Bethesda. It was just like Bethesda was just more of. With the whole Bethesda land, which Two I wish they would have done better with it, because it, it, it's a great idea, but I wish they would have be, did a better way of doing it. Yeah, the two biggest games were like the last two games they showed, which were Evil Within the 2 and Wolfenstein. Yeah, and Wolfenstein. And, and that was it. Like, Quake Champions was cool, but it was it was less of a trailer and more about the East Coast Advertising aspect. more, yeah, advertising the East Coast. Dishonored Wars. Deathly Outsider was cool, but it was still just a CG trailer. Yeah, and then... You know, I, Skyrim for... Who gives a fuck about... Well, 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 hang on. 
We respect those who still play Skyrim. You know, you guys are awesome. You guys, you know, back up the fans, stuff like that. You know, it's just, a, you know, people like us, we don't play it as much. That's the thing. We don't, we, we you know, we're not diehard fans. I we're get, not into I, like, it. I get the whole creation club for the game. That's fine. The whole modding game, that's fine. But this, they promoted Skyrim for Switch. Yeah. Like, I can understand if it was just a promotion for a mod, but it was Skyrim for Switch, which I understand, which is what I wanted, pretty yeah. much. Was it games? Uh, no, no, that was my old one. Hold on a second, Mike. Where's my list? <laughs> um, oh, God. Oh, but that's uh, uh more games coming to Switch, which I didn't really get. Xbox kind of gave me that. I was really hoping for even if it was, I would have been happy even if they had like for the rumored uh, a lot of people who were waiting for Starfield. I would have I would have been happy if they showed like a hey we're still working on it, but here's a couple of screenshots or this or that of what we're working on. I honestly wouldn't mind that because it's showing okay that's what I was expecting when they showed the part where it says under construction, you know? Because I would have been like okay that's cool. I would have been happy with that, um, but we didn't even get that much, you know, they're, that they're working on it. I usually give but, my, my brother a list of how to set up the highlights. I just did it right here and there, and like other ones I've done in the last couple days, it took me a while. That yeah, took me that, like less than like 30 seconds. This has, this, I mean, is, this has been the shortest conference I've seen so far. Oh no, Pokemon, uh, Nintendo's going to be short. Nintendo's reported it's going to be only 30 minutes. Which, it's fine, because... This one was 35 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, because of all... Oh yeah, it kind of was 35 minutes. About 35 but minutes. Was, but the thing about the Nintendo Directs is that they sprinkled the other announcements throughout. Yeah, see, like, they the last sprinkled, month, they like, sprinkled like, around. Like, like the Pokemon Direct, the yeah. Splatoon Direct, the ARMS Direct, yeah. the um, Fire Emblem Direct back in... Only back in March. Yeah. You know, they spread it out, so yeah. like... 30 minutes, that's enough to hone in on everything they need to talk they about. They talk about here, like I said, they're it's going over a lot of repeated stuff. Like I said, don't get me wrong, I, I, I kind of I, I I called it with the whole VR, because I was like, they're going to try to push for VR, VR which I, I like, it's cool. Fallout 4, eh, you know, it's okay, uh, I won't see anybody staying on that long to do the VR, but for the Doom VFR, VFR pretty much, that one looks really interesting. It yeah. really does. Um, but after that, it just it just felt like it just dragged along pretty much. It felt that's what it felt like. I don't think they had a lot. They just went with they decided to end with a lot of their big stuff instead of start. I'm glad that at least they ended it with some of their big stuff. But that's it. You know, if they started off with the big stuff, then it would have been boring the rest of the way through. Yeah. So you know, and then I like of course where he's like fuck, you know he's like fucking bananas and stuff like that. I think I think that helped me get through the last couple minutes. So you know, but like to me, I have to agree with you pretty much, which is. EA pretty much is definitely over uh, Bethesda, but just barely, and because, only because like, because they had. I mean, because the reason I say it is because they had like like the only just reason is just barely is because Bethesda had some more games that I was actually kind of intrigued with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you know, EA did the new game, you know, new games, but not like a lot of unannou new unannounced games. Yeah, and you know what? They showed a bunch of new games. Like they showed games, a bunch of new games. Games yeah. that are new coming out. No, what they did was Skyrim for Switch. Mm -hmm. What was on their list? Skyrim for Switch, a Doom VR mode, a yeah. Fallout 4 VR mode. Games we already like people have played gazillions of time over. I get it. Bethesda knows that their games are extremely replayable, but you just to me it's I like want, it's like what I you want said. more. You know, it's it's like what you said pretty much. If they would have done it to where it's like every now and then they show like maybe a new game or or like a new you know it's like sprinkle it out a little bit, then would have been probably a little bit better. But it's like they start off with the long, long stretching parts where it's just like yes we know, yes we know. Yeah. But they should have just sprinkled out, uh, sprinkled it out where it's like they should have ended it. Of course, to me honestly, I think they should have ended it with Evil Within too. That would have been a great way to end it. Oh, that would have been a great way to end it. End it pretty much because that would have been a great. You know, that's review. True. That's true. You know, but this like for the last ones from like Dishonored down, they could have sprinkled it a little bit more in the beginning, and then pretty much have the you know last one Evil Within too. But I think it's just the way they set it up. It just felt like it was just it was just dragging. It was dragging. That's what. Oh, it felt okay, like. I think I may ret retract something I said. Uh because I'm really thinking about it, and I think E like EA and um like they're here, and like Bethesda's just like that. 
It was yeah. like it was slightly. It's it's kind of difficult. It's kind of difficult to see who topped it. Because like at uh, one moment I'm thinking A was better than Bethesda, and another moment I'm thinking Bethesda was better than EA, but just barely. And right yeah. now that's right now. I think Bethesda just did barely better than EA because yeah. it, it did have a few games. I yeah. just want to say that now because like I am half asleep and I'm just my mind's like. Yeah, I mean, like you said, I'm just like you said Bethesda. Like to, yeah. to me, honestly, for myself, it felt like Bethesda just it just they just dragged it. And they thought they could help it with this whole Bethesda land. And it would have been great if they had a better setup with Bethesda so, land. So, hey, the good news, this is going to be probably an easy video for you to... This will probably be a quick video to edit and put together, so... Yeah, so, other than that, though, uh, well, other than that, though, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, you can comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. Mm -hmm. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about... E3 coverage, hit the subscribe button down below or at the end of this video. And again, just let us know what your thoughts are. I mean, again, I mean, if you are a Skyrim fan, Elder Scrolls, or, you know, any one of those, you know, yeah, I mean, comment down below. Let us know what you think of what how they, did, how they did. I mean, for us, yes, we don't play the games, but we respect those who, you know, you guys who, who do play those Skyrim, who want to play a lot or play a lot of the mods. That's awesome for you guys, you know. We're just hoping that, you know, Bethesda pretty much... You know, did a little bit of job, you know, giving us a little bit of something more, you know. Uh, maybe, they, like I said, even if, they, like, again, like I said, even if they gave us a little bit like a behind-the-scenes video of all one of their new games from, like, that they are working on. That's the first time I actually wanted to buy I wanted behind-the-scenes where it's like, even if we got that, that actually wouldn't have bothered me. No, but, the first thing we got to that is their five and ten-year-olds trying to remember what their kid, their, their, their parents are doing. Which is, which I found hilarious because I'm sitting here going, the, I guess these are kids who don't really play video games, which is weird considering their parents' job. Yeah. Well, at least one of their parents' job. But, um, like I said, though, it's, you know, comment down below. Let us know what you think your thoughts are on how Bethesda did. But also, you know, even if it's if you were a fan of Elder Scrolls or Skyrim, definitely let us know your thoughts of what they showed for those games, you know, down below. Are you excited for it? Or it's just like, it just really feels like you wanted some more stuff for it, mm -hmm. better new stuff. Definitely let us know in the comments. But also... You know, again, just let us know what your thoughts are, even on the new, the, the interesting games that, that piqued our interest. Let us know, comments below, you know, and then so, let us know what you think of our reaction, and take it from there. Until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And we'll be back again um, for next, for day three. The, the, of, the, pretty much the, the last conferences, in a way. Last, well, big, 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 major. Yeah, yeah, the, well, yeah. For The next two, let's just say the next two, which is going to be Ubisoft and um, Sony. So, yeah, yeah, the big ones. Well, I'm hoping the big ones crossing our fingers. So, uh, what was I going to say? Well, that has been a very, um, Bethesda episode of SRB yeah. TV. <laughs> so, so, until next time, we'll see ya. Later. Hey, if you want to see any of our previous videos related to this video or just pre watch our previous videos, just Click to the side and check it out. Also, you can also check out our other stuff besides this one, including our SRB TV stuff and much, much more. All right. See ya. Later.